Well, attention all Toledo artists. You could be eligible for an annual $25,000 from the Arts Commission. It is all part of the city's plan to use $6 million in the American Rescue Plan money to help boost the arts and culture here in the Glass City. Here's Michael Sandlin. For Connor Degnan, an artist and co-owner of the River East Art Gallery on the east side, he says he made some of his best art during lockdown. But for almost a year, no one was able to see it. Without the public uh, view, being able to come in and feel comfortable with each other, to show people paintings and whatnot, definitely was a challenge. A challenge that has been a major blow financially for all local artists. According to data from the City of Toledo's Economic Development Office, with venues and galleries closed through the pandemic, the economic output for Lucas County's creatives dropped nearly 8% from 2019 to 2020, a huge drop for an industry that brought in nearly $2 billion in 2019. We've known for a long time that the creative community in the Toledo region has an outside impact on our economy. That's why Toledo's city government is taking $6 million in federal American Rescue Plan dollars to stimulate arts and culture across the Glass City in the form of grants. This program will help them to gain from the losses they had during COVID and be able to continue to grow as they go forward. The grant application on the Art Commission's website is already up and running, detailing the three different groups that can apply small, medium, and large size organizations. The largest groups, institutions like the Toledo Zoo or TMA, are eligible for up to $150,000 per year. But even small organizations with operating budgets of $300,000 or less can be eligible from anywhere between $2,500 and $25,000. For small owners like Degnan, he says this new program could have a massive positive influence on the local Toledo art scene. Which would in turn help everyone and the whole community because I believe that it creates a positive environment for everyone. The last day to apply for these grants is Wednesday, November 16th. Reporting in East Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.